in that one phase where you're making a bunch of plans and then you don't actually you'll maybe complete four percent of them All right, on this windy Sunday, we're going to do a little bit of beautification for it as well, because it's not all about just getting crops in the ground. It's about getting uh, pollinators and bees and stuff to it. So one of the ideas that I had was these, this dead tree that got cut down is basically it's hollow all through the middle. And my first thought was, burn it. Second thought, my second thought was that'd be a nice planter right so we're gonna actually try planting we transplanted our rose bushes from way down by the the front of our gate they really would get neglected down there because who wants to carry water that far we didn't have an easy way to get water there except by hand and bucket so and they honestly they thrived really really well down there for the conditions they lived in so we're gonna move them up here and it'll be closer to the garden it'll be easier to water so we don't know if it's gonna actually work by growing in here. I don't see a good reason why it wouldn't, right? Because kind of like our other video, which would link it down there on the soil content of the decomposing tree, you know, that one. Um, it should, as these planter boxes break down, they should just, you know, put more nitrogen and give the worms something to chew on. And it should just be a really nice little ecosystem. As an experiment, you know, I we've had the rose bushes for a few years uh, at least one of them as long as Emma's been alive so I remember that so it would it would definitely suck to lose the roses but I'm not gonna lose sleep over that um, they'll definitely be easier to take care of up here and honestly it'll just make this whole because I have grand plans you know you guys need to hang out with like there's gonna be roads. There's gonna be my wife's favorite thing in the world, which is a roundabout. There's gonna be a roundabout. Um, I might even put street signs in, probably not, but we're planning a uh, playground for the kids up here. Like there's a lot. We're in that one phase where you're making a bunch of plans and then you don't actually, you'll maybe complete 4% of them. But it's still fun making the plans, right? Do you ever do that? You make a whole bunch of plans and you just do none of them? or start a whole bunch of them and never finish them. I don't know. But like, subscribe, hit the notification, and watch and see how many of these plans we actually get done. Um, definitely the fence and the roundabout because that's just gonna be useful for getting dirt and fertilizer up here in the side by side. Um, but besides that, the other stuff might, might could have to wait, maybe at least a year, you know. But for today, we're gonna move the roses into their new home. Hopefully they like it. So come along and uh, see how we uh, how we move them over here. We've already dug them up. I don't know if we have any footage of them getting dug up. No. Just imagine somebody digging them up and uh, trimming the roots a little bit. Uh, roses are pretty sturdy as long as you get them when they're dormant. Um, they're a very they're a very hardy plant. Like I said, we neglected the the heck out of them down there. I think we, they would go like in the 110 degree summer drought weather of Arkansas, they might have gotten watered once every couple of weeks. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty good loose in there. Wait a minute, they don't I have, have an idea. We'll mix it up in the wheelbarrow. Yeah, we could do that. I found this potting soil cheap at a local hardware store, so I'm kind of trying to experiment and see if it's good. Yeah. 
I don't know if we need to water. Although these these uh these stumps yeah. are probably gonna absorb a lot of yeah. water. But they're gonna hold water too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Okay. Nice. It already looks nice. Yeah. Get nasturtiums in that big one at the back and they'll drape down the front. Oh, and then God, I'll plant yeah. shorter ones in that little front section there. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice. And then, um, I don't know, probably some shorter ones in those two front ones too. Yeah. It's gonna be really pretty. 